What's up everybody, how's it going? In this video, I want to talk about a pretty nuanced but important topic that seems to be increasingly popular these days, and it's the topic of how to stay motivated while working in tech. I keep hearing stories either on online forums or here on YouTube from people who are working in tech and who either get burnt out or lose motivation, maybe they want to quit their jobs or quit their journey in tech, and I figured that maybe I could share some advice to help you stay motivated while working in tech. Now this advice is going to be relevant to anybody, so software engineers, product managers, UX designers, whatever role you might be in tech, but do keep in mind that it is subjective, so you might relate with one piece of advice that I give, but not another one. So on that note, let's jump into the three pieces of advice that I have for you in no particular order, with the first one being, I think that it's important to try to gamify the entire process. So let me give you an example here. When I was at Google, I spent a little over two years as a software engineer at Google, I was very motivated throughout my entire tenure there, and I worked a lot. I put in a lot of hours, voluntarily, all the while I was running my company, Algo Expert. By the way, if you're a software engineer preparing for coding interviews, systems design interviews, machine learning interviews, check out my company, Algo Expert. Go to algoexpert.io and use the promo code CLEM, CLEM, for a discount on the platform. But so despite having tons of stuff on my plate, I did not lose an ounce of motivation, even though my work at Google wasn't particularly exciting, especially at the end of the two years. I had been a front-end engineer on Google Cloud Platform, kind of doing the same work over and over again, putting forms and buttons on the Google Cloud Platform UI, so nothing super exciting, and yet I stayed motivated. And the reason I did is because I kind of gamified the process. See, I got really obsessed, for lack of a better word, with the promotion process at Google. I had my eyes set on becoming an L5 engineer, which is the senior level at Google, as fast as possible. And so in order to reach the L5 level, I first had to reach the L4 level, the mid-level, and I was an L3 engineer, the entry level. And in order to reach the L4 level, I had to go through the performance review process every six months, which is where you get some sort of grade for your performance. And so that was kind of the, the gamified process for me. I had my eyes on these sort of intermediary steps throughout the entire way. Whenever I was doing work at Google, in my mind it was, okay, this is going to help me get a better grade or score the performance review. If I get a good score the performance review, that's going to get help me get promoted to L4 as fast as possible. And I got promoted in like a year and a half, which was very satisfying. Then if I get promoted faster, then I can get to L5 faster. So you see, for me, that was this sort of game, this inner competition with myself. I found it very fun, very uh, rewarding, and very motivating. And there are all sorts of ways that you can gamify your work. Maybe you gamify it by counting how many lines of code you write per quarter and trying to beat yourself every quarter. I'm just giving an arbitrary example. Or counting the number of bugs that you fix, the number of features that you ship. Or maybe you're preparing for interviews and you don't like doing algorithm problems, but at least gamifying the process by having little goals of how many questions to complete during your interview prep. You know, getting that 100 questions completed on Algo Expert or 150 questions. Anything to gamify the process is going to motivate you more during your work or your journey in tech. The second piece of advice that I have for you is to do your best to find something to work on that you are genuinely excited about. And this can come in different shapes and sizes. Maybe this is going to be a technology that you're really excited to work with, or maybe this is going to be a product or a company or an industry that you're really excited to work on or in. If you can find something that excites you, that is going to be much more motivating to work on than if you're working on something that doesn't excite you. So I'll give you a couple of examples here, one that's related to me. The first one is, let's say you're a software engineer front end and you really like working with React, but you're at a company that uses Angular, the Angular framework, which is what I had at Google, and maybe you don't like that, right? So if that's kind of dragging you down and making you unmotivated to get to work every morning because you're like, ugh, I have to work with Angular, this is not really a technology that, that I enjoy or that I believe in, well then maybe it's time to look for a new job, either at a company like Facebook or some startup that uses React, 
and that'll be much more motivating for you. The example related to me right now is, as you all know, I'm running Algo Expert, my company, but like I said in a, in a recent LinkedIn post, if I'm being honest, I do not wake up every morning telling myself there's nothing I would love to do more than to work on technical interview prep, right? After four and a half years of working on Algo Expert, I'm certainly getting a little bit like sick of interview prep. It's not the thing that I'm most passionate about in my life. You know, I really enjoyed it at the beginning, but now I'm kind of sick of algorithms and data structures and all that. And so I'll get to how I stay motivated in my third piece of advice. But if I could right now, if Algo Expert were no longer a thing, right, or if I had the, the, the ability to just like freely leave, then I would probably want to work in the crypto industry. This is an industry that's really appealing to me right now, been interested in it since 2017, and I would love to either create my own company in the crypto space or even go work for another company. Like I'd be down to go work for another company even though I've experienced, you know, working for myself right now just because I find the space, the crypto space so interesting and that would motivate me, you see? So the point is, if you're starting to get sick of whatever it is that you're working on and you're losing motivation because of that, then just find something that excites you. It'll make a night and day difference. Now, the third and final piece of advice that I have for you to stay motivated while working in tech is to try to have some sort of greater goal, some sort of greater vision that whatever it is that you're doing is bringing you closer to. So I'll give you two examples here. The first one is a goal that I think a lot of people should have, and I do think that a decent amount of people in tech do have, but not everybody, and it's the goal of reaching financial independence. You might have heard of the movement FIRE, financially independent, retire early, basically means getting to a net worth that allows you to retire early. And so I would encourage you to figure out what that net worth is based on your lifestyle, where you want to live, you know, what you want to do with the rest of your life, and figure out that number and then figure out how your job or your current work plays into that. So maybe you're starting to lose motivation working, I don't know, at Google, but then if you have your fire number and you realize that, oh, four more years at Google will bring me to that fire number and I will be able to retire at the age of 30, just giving an arbitrary example, right? Or even younger or a little bit older. Well, then that should motivate you, right? Or it could help motivate you. Because even though you might not find the work super interesting or whatever, at least you'll feel like it's bringing you closer to this greater goal. The second example that I wanted to give you is the one related to me right now with Algo Expert. So I've had entrepreneurial aspirations and dreams ever since high school. And I'm really fortunate that right now I'm living out these entrepreneurial aspirations and dreams by running my own company, Algo Expert, which at least right now is doing very well. It's pretty successful. So I'm really happy about that. But there is this sort of greater entrepreneurial goal that has not been reached yet for me. So what I mean by that is like Algo Expert is not done, if that makes sense. And of course, like Algo Expert being done and reaching this sort of greater entrepreneurial goal is a little bit nebulous. It could come in, in different ways. Like maybe it means selling Algo Expert, the company, or maybe it means bringing Algo Expert to its fullest potential, which I don't think we've reached quite yet. I still think that there are ways that we can grow the company, that I can help grow the company that, that we haven't reached yet. And so the fact that there's this entrepreneurial goal, this greater goal um, that I can still work towards makes me motivated. Like it keeps me motivated, even though I might not be super excited, speaking candidly here, about coding interview prep. I'm still motivated because I feel like I'm working towards this greater entrepreneurial goal that would truly sort of complete my entrepreneurial dreams that I've had since high school that I'm currently living out. All that to say, it's very important to have some sort of greater goal and to feel like your work is bringing you closer to that goal. If you don't have such a goal, or if you do, but your work really is not bringing you closer to it, objectively speaking, then maybe it's really time to make a change because you're just gonna continue being unmotivated for good reason. So these are my three pieces of advice. I hope that they were helpful to you. Hopefully you'll be able to apply them. If they were, 
please don't hesitate to smash the like button. It really helps me out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And otherwise, if you enjoy short form written content, follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. If you enjoy pictures, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you in the next video.